Hello YouTube, welcome to Motorcycling with Carl. Today I'm gonna do a little product review of the A-Bus Detecto 7000 RS1. Um, it's a brake rotor lock and alarm. So you, you lock this on your front brake rotor, prevents your wheel from spinning. Also has a motion sensor, sensor built in, so if anybody stands the bike up or moves the bike, the alarm will start blaring supposedly at a hundred decibel level all right other features of this are its movement sensor so it senses movement and goes off automatic locking which was a, a good thing you don't have to fumble with the key to get this to lock you clip it and it locks automatically so you don't need a key to lock it has a status led to tell you if it's armed uh, one-handed operation to clip it on and lock it uh, the color of this one is the flame black uh, there is other color options I purchased this from Revzilla was hundred and thirty nine dollars and ninety nine cents I paid eight ninety nine for tax for a grand total of hundred and forty eight dollars and eighty eight cents I don't know if it's gonna stop somebody from stealing my bike or not but I'm willing to put out a little extra just just maybe it'll deter that one person um, so it's gonna be worth a try the one thing I've never had a problem with Revzilla all their stuff is good but I ordered this one and it came in and the the safety seals on the side are already broken um, like somebody may have already had this maybe they bought it and returned it um, that's a pet peeve of mine when I buy something brand new I like the package to be totally sealed I don't like buying stuff that looks like it's been gone through so with that being said I'm gonna open this up we'll unbox it we'll play around with it a little bit here it supposedly comes with the batteries and then we'll go out we'll put it on the bike and uh, we'll see how it arms how it works how much I have to move the bike to get the alarm to start sounding so let me open this up guys while i'm opening this if you like my channel if you like my videos please hit the subscribe button hit the like button on my videos if you like my videos i'd appreciate it all right so also the other thing before i get into opening this up a little further um i have some new t-shirts on teesprings uh my son's girlfriend's friend designed me a new shirt I love it it's awesome so if you want to help support my channel I will leave the link in the description down below where you can click on to my Teesprings store and go check out the t-shirts uh, the other thing is I will leave a link for for this in Revzilla in the description down below this has pretty good weight to it I mean it feel it feels like a nice sturdy lock so that's good I hope the keys are in here I hope that's what they didn't open up and take out so we got some directions here all right uh, the keys nice little carrying case so I could put it in my swing arm bag on my Harley Davidson so let's uh, unlock this and check it out so unlock take your keys out so now you would slide your disc in here one hand operation all right when you click this together there's a piece in here that will go up against your rotor and when you clip it together it'll push this in to activate it so what i'm going to do to activate it is i'm going to i'm going to pretend i'm going to lock it but then i'm going to stick my finger in here and push that down we got a green led okay that beep must have meant that the unit is now armed and the motion of just sitting here, I, I believe, has set it off. So it's going off. It's pretty loud, but it, it's definitely not piercing my ears. Okay. So seems like a pretty cut and dry operation. Seems like a nice unit. So let's go out to the bike, put it on, and I'll stand the bike up. We'll see how sensitive this thing really is. All right. See you in a few. All right, so we're out at the bike and we're gonna try to test the the brake disc lock and we're gonna see how sensitive it is and 
we'll see how easy it is so what you got to do I'm actually when I did it I would probably put it here but I'm gonna try to put it up a little higher for the camera so you slide it over your brake rotor okay click it it locks now to activate it you gotta push against the the mechanism inside to engage it so I got, had a green LED and a, and a noise all right now it should flash red there it goes so it's flashing red means it's armed so if I sit on the bike and stand the bike up it should start going off I have my key ready because I don't really want to annoy my neighbors so let's see what happens okay I'm sitting on the bike I'm gonna stand the bike up just a little bit of movement all right there it goes it triggered it so it's going off it's not absolutely deafening but it, it's definitely enough to get somebody's attention so um, yeah that uh, that was you know wasn't too too sensitive but it was sensitive enough that if somebody you know stood the bike up it started going off I want to I'm gonna rearm it now I want to see you know if I touch it how sensitive it is all right so it's on there it's armed it's flashing red I'm gonna have well I'm gonna go to put the key in and mess with the lock and let's see what happens so I'm going trying to I all right I got the key up oh, I just just messing with it to put the key in and it's going off all right so that seems like a pretty nice little brake lock a little bit on the expensive side but you know what if it deters that one person maybe that'll save my bike that one time all right guys also remember don't forget to take your brake lock off when you get to the bike all right um that'll make for a real bad day if you take off and it smashes into the brake calibers but chances are when you stand your bike up it's going to start going off and you'll say oh my alarm before you take off so i don't think you're going to make it out of there without realizing it's on but be aware of it also to let you know when the alarm starts going off it will go off for 15 seconds and it will stop and it'll reset itself and if it's touched again it'll go back off so it'll only blare for 15 seconds before it resets itself if you guys have any questions leave it in the comments below and I'll answer it as best as I can and when I do another vlog or whatever, and I've used the lock a couple times, I'll let you know what I think about it overall. But as of now, it seems like a really nice product. So one other thing, I do want to say thanks again, Jacqueline, for designing that shirt. I love it. I appreciate it. Um, if you guys want to see it, go on to the link, Teespring, check out that shirt. Um, any proceeds will go to support my channel. All right, so this is Carl. I'm gonna change things up a little bit today. For somebody out there, you know who you are. And my next video, maybe I'll talk about it some more. But this is Carl saying laugh a lot, be nice, and ride on. <laughs>